song is pretty cool. Oh god, what is happening? I'm already getting attacked. Who's attacking me? What's a boon? Oh, a nightmare. Sweet. I like nightmares. So many. So many enemies. Orb. Why am I not seeing any XP when they die? So where'd my orb go? Thousand seven hundred forty. Clink. So not even that much XP. For faith and bravery? Oh, I don't. I never got it because I didn't have them anyways. Still need to find Scathe. Is there actually good stuff down here? Okay, it's not that good, but it's something. Gives me more max MP, but not as much magic power. Let's see you, Bahamut. Trying to remember how this gimmick works. There's either I I I. Uh, I think there's. I think it's like the other floors where the enemies drop the orbs, but then the altars are like randomly somewhere in the in here somewhere. I gotta find them. But then, I think you just take the elevator to the next floor, so like, each floor is basically a checkpoint you can go up and save. So this is kind of perfect for doing it near the end of the, le the day, because I can stop at any time. Yeah, we beat Gilgamesh. the insta-kill. you serious? Is it really disabled everyone? Oh, with their dying breath. This is awkward.
I wish I had ye flask. I wish I had ye torch so I could see where the heck I'm going. try to buy those bubble belts just for some of the keep casting bubble during this huge but then again I, I want to keep my XP things on so I think I'm just gonna have to deal with it either keep casting it or just survive without it it shouldn't be Shouldn't be that bad to survive without bubble for the regular enemies. I don't know how many of these boys I can chain? <laughs> it's so funny that a uh, item called Bubble Belt is like one of the best things in the game. It just sounds like something out of Spongebob, not like the ultimate equipment for the Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> They're all just wearing inner tubes. You guys going on the water slide? No, we're defeating a dragon. Obviously. Can you please kill him now, Vaughn? Thank you. I need to give license a... I need to give license a Vaughn. I need to give Vaughn a license for... Asunaga. Because he only has a regular Asuna. Check all these walls to make sure they're not fake, too. Oh, I don't even get a map for, like, the other parts of the level. What? Is that there's bosses down it there's bosses just randomly struck oh no Phoenix uh, oh no no, this is that stupid boss that attacks like at a million miles per hour. He's immune to slow. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Not what we wanted. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Yeah. 
first of all. Uh, you're just chilling. You need your bow. Uh, don't G me in the chat. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I can't even slow him? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, can I sap him? He's an early boss. Maybe there's some, like, stuff we can do here. Can I, like, immobilize him or something? There's gotta be, like, a goofy thing I can hit him with. How about poison? Are you poison? Did I hit him? No. Uh, uh, Bazaga. He's Phoenix. Okay, that did some damage. How about just shock? That did even more damage. I think we just do this. On, you need to be a duck. Vaughn, I want you to listen to me very closely. You are not a hero. You sit there and you block. That's all you can do. You can't hit him. <laughs> you can't hit him. Don't even try. I should just change his gambits just to like sit there and heal himself or something, but. I am very low on MP, and that's a bad thing. That's a very bad thing. You know, I still want to know. It's got to be the staff. It's got to be the staff that causes it. Something causes me to take damage when I cast spells. I think it's the... I think it's this... Staff, because it's so strong. I think that it has like a... You get a million magic, but you hurt yourself with spells. Because it's stronger than every staff I've ever found. So that only makes sense it would have like a negative. He's almost dead. Keep shocking him. I think Fran's gonna finish him. The triple, triple bye bye birdie. <laughs> triple knockout. Dude, I do not remember this area having old bosses. That is awesome. That makes this area so much cooler now. I can't wait to go through this area now. I remember it just being a slog, like, fighting the same enemies over and over and getting more and more dark orbs and just taking hours to get down. But I remember it being really fun, so that, that must be why, because you get to fight these old bosses. So is the, is the altar in this room? Because if not, what... 
Couldn't I have just not gone in this room? Hmm. Maybe this one doesn't have an altar. Maybe this one doesn't have an altar and you just have to beat the phoenix to get to the next level. Because I wouldn't imagine that the phoenix would be optional. Maybe he is, though. Magic pot! Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. I do not like the sound of that. I'm not trying to get something stolen and having to reset my file. What if the phoenix, like, appeared again? Dude, I know how this game rolls. It would totally give me a boss and then immediately give me an enemy that if you attack, he like steals your weapons or something. Or just like one shot to a super ultima. Did not put it past this game to do that. Get out of the way of the orb! Dude, what? The orbs. They don't last long enough. The enemies always get in the way. I can't pick them up. This is bad. Out of MP. I'm out of MP. That dude's cast in haste. Bon is going in. Roy Jenkins. Come on, this was not a smart idea. Come on. <laughs> he literally leroy There's four of these things in here, and he literally Leroy's. Oh my god. They literally, we just actually witnessed a Leroy moment. There's a ghost, too. We actually just witnessed a Leroy moment. You cannot end us. What did he say? He's killing us? You're right with that one. <laughs> I got a shield, I can take him. Please tell me there's no enemy here. That was close. We almost we almost lost it. We almost lost him. got leroy and we didn't even get any fried chicken. For Alaska. <laughs> I think Trev is Bosch in real life. He's too good at being like him. He's too good at quoting him. I think he is him. Is this a dead end?
attacked. There's going to be 97 frogs waiting for me on the other side of this door. Where's the elevator? What? He revives on the trap. Bosh, this is your fault. I don't know how, but somehow it is. Did I just witness? Did you see what I just saw? It's Ixion! Why is he here? Excuse me? Freaking hunt is just here. Either. Dude, I thought it was a regular horse at first, but he looked really big. So I was like, something ain't right here. And the way he like appeared right as I opened the menu. Oh my God. <laughs> that was nightmare fuel. What in the world? So, either he can appear, like, at any point as you're doing this, or it's one of those things where, like, he can attack you the whole time you're going down, but you don't actually fight him till the bottom or something like that. Like, he just picks on you, but you don't actually fight him. I don't know. But that was... Woo! That was something. Uh, okay, well, at least we got to save so we don't have to fight Phoenix again. Did he say anything new now? definitely wasn't hornless. Do you think you'll ever play the OG version at, again after this? Uh, I don't know. I would imagine that if I do any, like, challenge runs or anything in the future, I'll probably stick to the Zodiac Age, but there might be a reason to come back to this one. Some people prefer this one because of the way the everyone's kind of free to be whatever they want. So, there's definitely a chance I come back to it. I can't believe Ixion just ran the attack. Now we got regular horses attacking me. Going up levels and dying at the same time. That frog is machine gun 
tonguing me. I can't stay alive. I can't revive anyone. I'm dead. Alright, this is good. This is totally going to plan. That's what he did. I, it sounded like a machine gun. How's it going, Uber? Do you think that, do you think that Final Fantasy XII is, popular opinion, not one of the best? I feel like it's definitely one of the more divisive ones, but I wouldn't say it's, I don't know, no, it's an interesting question. Public opinion of 12 has always been kind of weird. I think Zodiac Age definitely helped it a lot. A lot of people came back to it after Zodiac Age came out and they were like, wow, this is actually really good. I also think that the game was ahead of its time in a lot of ways. So when people played it before, they didn't really get it, but playing it now, they get it more. So. That's one of the best things about Zodiac Age. I, I really do think that Zodiac Age did so much for this game. So many people just didn't get it back then, but playing it now, it just feels better. And, like, this type of game does so well with, like, better load times and stuff. So, yeah, Zodiac Age really helped. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think you're probably right. I think popular opinion of this game probably puts it mid-tier in the series. But yes, I, I'm a very big fan of this game as well. I, I loved it when it came out as a kid. Stop casting Scourge, thanks. Like, just never stop. You think about stopping, stop thinking. No, seriously, stop. Just, just keep going. Ooh, Chronos Tear. Who does? I'm glad I kind of held off on doing big grinding sessions, because now we definitely have, like, the best place to grind. Okay, 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 what? Like, what is actually going on in this area? Seriously. What in the world? Why are there so many? <laughs> This is ridiculous.
give me face. And I'm gonna go Leroy. If you ever want to check out 1 through 5 without like completely spoiling yourself, you could watch my Let's Play, so up to the point where you decide if you want to play them or not. And yeah, please play 6. One of the best games ever made. It, you know, if you're into Final Fantasy, definitely gotta play 6. You're just into RPGs in general. Come on, Ash. One more cast. You can do it. gonna be like that place in uh, the end of the game where the enemies just never stop coming and I have to straight up run away just because they never stop spawning. Because I'm starting to get uh, starting to get that feel here. Like just every time I kill one, <laughs> every time I kill one, I just see one hopping around the. Hey, hey, what are you doing over here? Hey. This <laughs> never ends. If uh, if none of the, if none of the horses come back, I might just chill here for a minute because I could get a really crazy chain. <laughs> the death you arrive emote is perfect for this moment in time. They just come sliding in. We're back. <laughs> yeah, this is actually post game, which is probably. Uh, well, you said you you said you beat this game already, anyway. So never mind. Yeah, we already beat the main story. Finally cleared them out. Here comes two more horses. Strolling in. <laughs> and another frog.
Oh, that dodge was clutch. Cast the spell. Cast the spell. Ash. Oh my god. We did it. We actually cleared out all the enemies. It's a miracle. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime guy. Yeah. And here comes another frog. <laughs> One more frog? Or like two more frogs? Are they finally done? I heard one. Okay. Let's see if I can level up Bosch. level. And then he died. How'd he die? I don't know why I cast a rise. Another level. <laughs> One level per frog. Power leveling. Another level. Bosh. This dude really steps on a disease trap. He's already useless enough. Now he's actively making it harder to win. You idiot. And then he dies right before the XP pops. And he still has disease. Yeah. We have a Bosch problem. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> we have a, a Bosch problem. He's working for the umpire. Oh, these things weak against holy. I hope so. Listen. 
there's useless. And then there's you. Hitting the funny meme number as Bosch dies. <laughs> it's like a vaudeville act in here. This is pretty perfect because I'm like slowly getting fed enemies. Can we not? Can we not with the disease traps? Problem is, I'm out of MP. Any more frogs? Oh my god. I'm not even taking the disease off of Bosch. Maybe, maybe enemies will be less inclined to hit him because he's got a disease. A little bit of both. We're trying to do this hunt, but I need to get stronger before I'm be able to get before I'll be able to get any further. And I also need to figure out how to get further. So I'm kind of exploring and grinding and doing the hunt all at once. But I wanted to see if I could power level Bosch with these frogs, and it's looking like I can. But I think I killed the rest of them. Uh, the hunt is Ixion, and then there's another one down here. But please don't tell me anything about it if you know. What is that? What is that? What am I looking at? Nightwalker. is doomed and I don't have any way to get rid of it <laughs> he's blocked his own attack Already level 17. I'm a little worried about the fights later in here, though, because there's. Bosh. Don't. Just don't. Guys. 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 
guys. Bosh <laughs> <laughs> oh, is like, I'm out. Coming. I think it's time to go get RMP back. Ouch. Oops! Think about the 27 months. Hold it back in. Alright, well. This does seem like a good way to power level Bosch, but uh, we'll just leave him where he's at for now. Worry about leveling him up later. figure out how to get to the next level because I killed Phoenix and I got some orbs but I haven't found an altar yet <laughs> well there is fine he's the leading man he's got plot armor I got a level 17, Bosch von Rossenberg, with a power level of 10 million. And it was easy when I put in the discount code, von Rossenberg 12. <laughs> so is there... See what's down here. <laughs> Bosch von Hamburger over nine thousand. I want to. I want to think that Heroes is still driving, and he stopped. He pulled over the car just to type Bosch von Hamburger over nine thousand. I know he's either at a red light or he did the voice to, to speech, but. I want to I want to imagine that he just pulled over the car like nope this is more important <laughs> Oh that's cool Dude there's so many different enemies and I've only fought massive black orb Give me that massive black orb Let me pick up the orb Uh oh. The unusually large floating orb gives off a dark eldritch glow. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that. What? He stole my MP! I just got MP back. Un unbelievable. This game, unbelievable. I love this, uh... What are you doing? Fran? <laughs> She's like, what? Oh, I didn't do nothing. Um... I love this late game, or this post-game dungeon idea of just having, like... Like, I don't know, just searching and, and having the map be very dark and you get all these orbs and it feels like a really cool post-game idea that can really extend the playtime a lot. Like this this dungeon definitely gets a S-plus rating from me. High Reaver, what the heck is that? 
Okay. I need to bubble, and Vaughn needs to charge. idea let's do it 12 black orbs holy moly that's it I didn't I didn't get jumped by a giant eldritch horror that's good I'm, I'm just gonna go save now 12 orbs and I need my MP back anyways. I'm just going right back. Screw it. Can't wait for Ixion to appear and just kill us all right now. This, like, looming possibility that Ixion could appear at any time is pretty great. Those traps are missing. Alright. Bank. What am I doing? I'm doing this dungeon. top part of this dungeon is part of the story, but the bottom part's a post-game area. I already had two cups of coffee, so yeah, I'll have some more. <laughs> 